in today's video i will be talking about finding the approximate gm or metacentric height by means of rolling period test for ships up to 70 meters in length this is again part of the advanced ship stability for mariners or seafarers or naval architects depends on what course you are studying now in today's video i'll be only discussing the theory of it and in the next video i will show you a worked example as well to show you how the calculations are worked out so for small ships where it is not practicable to give approved loading conditions or other stability information rolling period test may be recommended as a useful means of approximately determining the initial stability of small ships investigations comprising the evaluation of a number of inclining and rolling tests according to various formulae showed that the following formulae gives the best results the formula is as provided here where gm naught is equal to f times b divided by tr and the whole thing is squared where f stands for the factor of the rolling period or rolling coefficient i will show you how to find that out then we have a b which stands for the breadth of the ship in meters we have tr which stands for the rolling period in seconds this can be of course calculated using a stopwatch the factor f is of the greatest importance in this formula and the data from the above tests were used for assessing the influence of the distribution of the various masses in the whole body of the loaded ship for coastal vessels of normal size excluding tankers and fishing vessels the following average values were observed for an empty ship or a ship carrying ballast f was equal to or close to 0.88 for a ship fully loaded and with liquids in tanks comprising the following percentage of the total load on board that included cargo liquids stores etc well if the ship was carrying 20% of the total load the factor was considered to be close to 0.78 if it was carrying 10% of the total load the factor was close to 0.75 5% of the total load 0.73 for double boom shrimp fishing boats the factor was considered as 0.95 for deep sea fishing boats the factor was 0.80 or close to it boats with live fish well the factor was considered as 0.60 now i know maybe most of you who are watching this video is not, are not sailing on fishing vessels but like i said it's important for you guys to know about this in terms of advanced ship stability IMO actually has asked the administrations or flag states to re-examine the above rolling coefficients in the light of any different circumstances applying to their own ships. So these values cannot be taken for granted or at face value to be exact. That's why it is considered to be an approximate value. Greater the distance of masses from the rolling axis of the vessel, the greater will be the rolling coefficient. Hence, the rolling coefficient for an unloaded ship, that is for a hollow body, will be higher than for a loaded ship because it is much lighter and will roll more easily. The rolling coefficient for a ship carrying a great amount of bunkers and ballast, both groups are usually located in the double bottom, that is far away from the rolling axis. It will be higher than that of the same ship having an empty double bottom. Experiments have shown that the results of the rolling test method get increasingly less reliable the nearer they approach the GM values of 0 0.20 meters and below. Rolling oscillations taken in a seaway are not reliable. As such, oscillations are forced oscillations and not free oscillations. Therefore, the formula Gm0 equals Fb by Tr whole square 
can be reduced or modified to gm not equals f by tr square and the administration should determine the f values for each ship that is the rolling period coefficient the determination of the stability can be simplified by giving the master permissible rolling periods in relation to the drafts for the appropriate values of f considered necessary sorry about that the initial stability may also be more easily determined graphically by using the sample nomogram i'll show you the nomogram but before i show you the nomogram let me show you how the initial stability is determined the values of b and f are marked in the relevant scales and connected by a straight line let me show you how so you can see the values of before i say you can see i must show you what so this is breadth or b this is rolling coefficient or f as you can see on your screen see the scale so the rolling coefficient is this scale here and the breadth is this scale here all right so for example you can see the example below is showing you breadth is 9 meters b is equal to 9 meters which is here and uh, b is plotted against the f which is 0.8 so 0.8 is here so you can see the breadth and the rolling period is connected by a straight line here first all right now wherever it intersects the center line m all right wherever it intersects the center line m through that what they do is they plot the breadth of the vessel which is in this case is not breadth but the rolling period sorry is 12 seconds so rolling period is 12 seconds here what they do is they make sure from the rolling period they draw a line which actually intersects this point here on m which is m called m this point here and wherever it intersects on this curve here you get your initial gm from there from this scale so the gm scale is here you can see since it is intersecting here at this point don't look here this scale this is the scale you have to look at so from point 3 to z point 4 this is about 0.36 and that is the gm so this is how the initial gm is determined using the nomogram so these are the instructions given as well in theory over here in in case you want to refer to so i just explained to you by showing the diagram like i said before i will also show you a numerical where i'll show you how this gm is calculated using the formula if the information is given all right so let me know what you thought about this video guys whether these are useful videos for you or not because like i said these are advanced ship stability videos as you go towards becoming mates and masters you must be aware of these kind of uh, stability concepts uh, because when you get your certification you are very much getting the certification for all kinds of ships and as a mate or a master or senior officer you are expected to know more than a second mate or a third mate bye for now guys all the best with your study